This is what's known as a 4-in-1 trimmer for, I think this is for eyebrows. And you have a sort of trimmer like this for side bends or what have you. And a bit more like a normal type shaver. You can see in the bottom there. And I made this stand for it. I've deliberately put holes in the bottom so if you wash these, because you can wash them, I believe. Well, this part, not the whole thing. Uh, so any moisture can drip out. I have a, like a small bayonet fitting on. These aren't bayonet fittings, but I've left some notches in so that we can stand them on there. There's a little bit extra space for odds and ends there. Get a little brush. I'll turn it on just now, show you it working. The cap tends to uh, come off quite easy. There we are, there. so there's a the stand things together pull like a little groove in here because that's where you can charge it up I think it's a figure of figure of eight sort of plug if I remember right just USB five volts I used a figure of eight which is more like mains I think I don't know well just notice I think there's a couple of screws in there It's very, um, very good actually, if you ask my opinion. So that's a nose hair trimmer, ear hair trimmer. Not too noisy as you hear. And I haven't charged this up for quite a while and I have been using it a little bit. Got a bit of very minor vibration. Let me put it down on here so we can. Yeah, but really, just simple on and off. I think it has a charging light here when you're charging it. Can't remember what colours that goes. But that's basically it. I think it's about a five hour print this. This does have a sort of chamfer on it. Um, stick at the back then at the front. I printed in this sort of orientation. Let me show you. This, that's the orientation with X going this way. I don't think it matters too much a bit. I think it's a bit better with the lay lines if you print like that because of the chamfer. Sometimes the only bugbear with this is sometimes this like cap thing does come off. I think it could be easy to get lost, like a protection cap. Yep, so there we are. 3D print looks so you're getting in the shadows uh, with the light there.